Hi guys, my name is Anna Maria and you're all very welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about studying computer science in Ireland and not only in Ireland, but I want to talk about the benefits of studying computer science, of how you can apply, what prices you have to pay to study it and what kind of opportunities you have when you do study computer science. I will start by telling you the reasons I think studying computer science is important. So first of all, it is a skilled job that's in demand everywhere in the world. For example, if you do study law, you are limited to a certain country. Obviously, you can move, but you have to study the law of the other country or the other continent again, and you'll have to spend some more time educating yourself. However, if you studied computer science, you can go absolutely everywhere in the world. As far as I know, by talking to different kind of web developers, you still have to learn a lot, you still have to progress and develop yourself as you go on, because the technology changes changes so fast and so often, but generally computer science is something very good to know and you can relocate everywhere you want in the world. A common misconception is that computer science is only used in tech-related jobs. However, about 67% of jobs in computer science are related to other fields like agriculture, teaching, banking, medicine, retail, sport, entertainment and other non-tech related fields. You also can work in very many different companies, you can do very many different jobs and apply to different job roles. Like you can work, for example, in finance, you can do data analytics. Data analytics is actually something very, very important for companies and all companies do it and understand that analyzing data is very, very important. They need specialists who can take all the raw data and prepare like a proper, nice, good looking report that will help the companies make good decisions and that will give them competitive competitive advantage that will help make more sales. You can also work in cloud computing, in cybersecurity, you can be a web developer, you can do project management as well, and there are plenty of other jobs that you can do, and if you just google them, you'll find loads, loads of them. And again, it's still very good to know computers because we get to interact with technology more and more and more, and obviously it's gonna get bigger in the future, so it's great to know as much as possible about computers and to know how to use computers really well, and this will definitely give you a competitive advantage over other candidates when you go to an interview. Let's talk about how to apply. You can apply via the CAO. The CAO is the Central Applications Office, or you can apply directly to the universities. I would obviously recommend you to apply through the CAO, but if you, let's say you're a major student, you can apply directly to the university. And again, all this information is written on the university's websites, so make sure you just put the name of the university on Google and you'll get their website websites and where you can check different courses, different fees, how to apply, all sorts of information. You can also email universities and they will come back to you with another email with a reply. I know that not all countries have such a great organization, such a great system when universities do post everything online, but in Ireland you definitely can check everything online because I got loads of people messaging me and asking me, oh, wanna tell me the price for medicine or tell me how much law studying law costs or tell me how much studying computer science costs, but guys, I would recommend checking it yourself because you probably know what kind of budget you have, you probably have an idea of what kind of university you want to go to, where you want to be located, so I'd really recommend checking it online, it's very, very easy. Also, I wanted to give you a great recommendation to check my friend's YouTube channel. His name is Amir and he talks about education even more than I do. Also, I got many questions about visa and unfortunately I don't know too much about visa because I am an EU citizen, so I don't really have to deal with visas. But on his channel you can find a video about visas, about education, he answers different kind of questions, so make sure you check his channel because it's gonna be very, very useful for you as well. Now, in in terms of prices, I will mention the prices from three universities from Dublin. This is the course of Computer Science for your course, NFQ Level 8. And if you want to understand or know more about NFQ and what NFQ is, you can check one of my previous videos. I will leave it on the top or in the description to this video. It's going to be very, very interesting and useful to know. 
I will tell you how much you have to pay for computer science in Trinity College. EU students have to pay 704,000 euro per year. Again, you have to multiply it by four because there are four years in the course. And non-EU students will have to pay, unfortunately, 25,000 euro. Yeah, I was even shocked myself, but this money is per year. So again, you have to multiply it by four. And this is plenty of money. In terms of getting a grant or getting a scholarship, EU citizens can get a SUSI grant, S-U-S-I. You can Google it and check it on YouTube. They have a lot of information online. In terms of grants and scholarships for non-EU students, I am not sure about one single scholarship that you can apply to. Different universities have different kinds of scholarships. So I would really recommend checking their websites or checking your country. Maybe your ca country can offer you some kind of scholarships or maybe even emailing the universities because they are so different and there are so many that I might have to do like another research and another video about this. Now the same course, computer science course for ERs and FQ level 8 in UCD. EU students will have to pay 7,600 euro per year and non-EU students will have to pay 25,600 euro per year. In Griffith College, for example, EU students will pay 5,500 euro per year and non-EU students will pay 12,000 euro per year. I have noticed that in universities outside Dublin, like for example in Galway, in Cork, the prices are obviously lower because the demand is obviously a bit lower and they have to manipulate with prices to attract students. There are so many online courses right now and maybe you think between online and offline courses. I want to tell you my opinion. I would definitely go for offline courses because there you can interact with different people, because you can be present in the moment, because you can work in a team and learn how to work in a team because this is very complicated. You will make new friends, you will get a proper network of nice, interesting, smart people. Also, if you are an international student, by studying offline, on the campus, you will get exposure to other cultures, to other languages, so it's going to be such an interesting and amazing experience. Also, I do understand that offline courses are not for everyone. You can be limited in time or maybe you just want to acquire the skills and this is everything you need. Then yeah, I would go for online courses in that situation, but as long as you can, try to go for offline courses. In terms of internships and getting work experience. There are plenty of companies out there that do offer internships and you can always search for them on Google, you can search for them on LinkedIn and you'll find plenty of internships. You just have to be proactive. It's very, very important to put a huge focus on experience. So as long as you study, try to, for example, make a website for someone or improve someone's website and add this to your portfolio, add this to your CV. Also, this is how you will learn to interact with a potential employer, to charge for your services. You'll learn how to speak with an employer. And these soft skills are also very important because at the end, you'll have to sell yourself and you'll have to sell your skills. In terms of career opportunities, I checked it online and there are plenty of career opportunities. I know people who work in computer science and this is very interesting because they have loads of opportunities. They can make good money as well. You can work in big companies like, for example, Microsoft, in Google, you can be a web developer, you can be a cloud specialist, you can be a software engineer and loads of other companies want to hire specialists, like really, really good specialists. Salaries begin from 30,000 euro per year up to 60,000 euro per year, and I'm sure that they can be even much higher. It probably just depends on your experience and what a specialist you are. However, I have noticed that many jobs do not disclose the salaries, so probably you'll have to apply yourself and you might have to message them yourself and ask them what's the salary. They can reply to you in an email. They maybe just don't want to publish the salary amount online. Many people ask me what's the salary, they can ask me what kind of opportunities are there, but guys, I would really recommend checking it yourself because you know what kind of experience you have, you know what you know, and that's gonna be much more productive if you just Google those things yourself. 
I know that studying computer science is much more difficult than studying business management, for example. It can be probably a bit easier than studying medicine. But what I want to say is that this is a skilled job. This is something that is in demand and you will definitely have a job. You will definitely be able to survive to make some good money. So if you can look for skilled jobs, look, look for something that you can do by using your skills and learning skills. If you guys work in computer science, maybe you do something connected to computers, to web development, to, I don't know, software development, uh, cloud computing, cybersecurity, please let us know what's your experience in the comments. It's going to be very interesting to read and to know what you think about this. Is it something worth studying? Is it difficult? Is it easy? Maybe you can give us some advice because I'm sure that guys are going to check the comments and they will definitely find something very useful. To make this video, I actually spent a lot of hours doing some research, checking a lot of websites, reading a lot of books, talking to a lot of people. So if you want, you can support me on Patreon or you can give a like to this video so I know it was very useful and interesting for you. And thanks for watching this video. Make sure you do subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one.